Hello and welcome. I am Ashish from Mishances. I am the instructor of this course and would walk you through the entire content of it. So before we begin with the course, let's have a look on the structure and outline of this course. First thing first, I will brief you with what you should and should not be expecting from this course. I have split this course in three stages overall. Each stage as we progress makes you more aware and capable of defining, designing and finishing a product based on Zigbee standard. In stage 1, we will discuss some basics of low power RF which involves terminologies, units, definitions etc. Also we will know the Zigbee protocol standard by talking about its architecture, terminologies and structure. We will then be having a detailed look on Zigbee's layer stackup from architecture perspective and will discuss about the role and link up of each layers within. On moving to stage 2, we will first understand the prerequisites for designing a product based on Zigbee standard. That is what all parameters qualify a silicon platform to be used for building a product on. What should be the architecture of the design to achieve a specific end application after which we will take an end application example and dive into application development which will involve the software development tools like Stack, Sniffer etc and hardware development tools like eval boards or your own design ZigBee modules. After done with the application development we will discuss the most critical part that is the integration and testing aspect of it. Also the validation and the productionizing of the design. Finally in stage 3 we should be talking on how to get the developed product certified or design certified. The content across stages have been tailored fit presuming that viewer has a basic wireless communication fundamentals and C coding exposure. The entire content of this tutorial has been designed based on my experience and knowledge of working on Zigbee and I'm pretty confident that at the at the completion of this course you shall have a confidence and ability developed to design a low power wireless product of your own based on Zigbee standard. So from what to expect perspective I'll talk about the basics of low power RF system in general and the points based on which you should be selecting the best fitting solution for your application need. Typically these points comprise of the maximum TX power allowed in a specific area of operation. By area of operation I mean the region where the end application or the product would be installed or used. The range, the expectation of range, what kind of range is expected from this end product the power source of the design that is whether it will be battery powered or mains powered. Let's then go deep in the Zigbee standard by knowing the features, technology and terminology used. How the network is formed, managed, how an application can be developed based on Zigbee, how the security is enabled and disabled, what all levels of security are there on Zigbee standard protocol. And then we shall learn in detail about the challenges involved in designing a Zigbee product. These challenges can be categorized on software, hardware and certification front of the product. Please remember, we will not be discussing the stack development for the standard as it doesn't fall in purview of this course. I will also not be talking in detail on how to tune and match their hardware design. However, we will we'll be talking on the guidelines and all the rules or checklist to be followed while laying out a hardware. From resources and links perspective, almost all the big semiconductor companies worldwide have solutions for Zigbee protocol standard. Those solutions essentially comprise from the hardware, certified hardware platform and certified software stack. Many of them offer compliant royalty free stacks also in library form. The predefined and certified examples are tailored to various application profiles and clusters defined in Zigbee standard specifications. The common links to bookmark and use are listed in front. So let's get started. <laughs> 